obviously this is your taco card and then the little cross hammer sign changes to a bed and out comes the taco card. Good morning everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you roughly how to use a tachograph. So, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is James, if anyone isn't very well aware. I am. Uh, I go as trucking with James. Why the hell have I got my aircon on? So, I'm just going to be running through the basics really of using a tachograph, but I'm going to be doing it all day. So I'm going to be showing you how I enter my tachograph in the morning, um, and obviously, this is your taco card and I'm going to be going through all day so roughly when I put it on brakes while I'm putting it on brakes at that certain time and then my second break which will be my half an hour and then sort of end of the day when I'm taking my taco out so I hope that at least someone learned something from this so it is currently 7 26 in the morning and I am just about to put my card in bearing in mind I started at seven o'clock which means I need to do a manual entry. Now, a lot of people will, you know, turn around and say stuff like, just put your card in and just, just press okay, 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 okay. The thing is with that, I get paid from seven o'clock. I start work at seven o'clock. I go up to the office, get my paperwork and everything. So I have to record on my taco that I started at seven o'clock. So this is your your, your, sort of your standard, bog standard tachograph machine. So when you're putting your card in, you wanna go chip forward and up. And then it should load up saying welcome and the current time. And that is my last name. The last withdrawal was yesterday at 4.48, so I do want to do a manual entry, so I'm going to press OK, and here uh, I have to go back, because yesterday I, I took my card out at 4.48, but I finished work at half five, so I've got to change the little bed icon, which is a rest icon, to other work, which is the cross hammers, and I want to go back down to the second, which was yesterday, and then I want to basically change that time to 17.30, which is the time I finished work. So now that's at 17.30, I'm gonna press OK, and now I can sort of start fresh for today. So I was on break from 17.30, so I was on break until today, the 3rd of the 3rd, and I started my shift at seven o'clock, so we just need to change that time down to seven, because that is the time I started work. So I finished work at 17.30, I was on break from then till then, and want to change that symbol to cross hammers, which is other work, and I've been up on other work from seven till 7.27. Press okay, confirm entry, begin the country in the UK, and there you have it. So now the taco's all sorted and set up, um, I don't have to do anything with that now because that is going to record what I do throughout the day. The day. So I, when I drive, that will change it automatically to driving. And then, like for example, on the dashboard, I can show you now. Um, down here, it's got my dashboard. So even though I haven't had my card in for 29 minutes, because I did the manual entry, it is now recorded that I've been at work for 29 minutes. I haven't had a break yet and I've done no driving today, so that's all zero. But like I said, I'll update you through the day on how on how I do things. This isn't right in some people's eyes, but I've been pulled by the DBSA twice, they've checked my taco twice, and they've been happy with absolutely everything. Anyway, I'm gonna do my checks and crack on out onto the road. Now, I'm not doing this video to be like, oh, I know what I'm talking about, everyone should listen to me. This is just, I've had a lot of people ask me to do this type of video, so I'm just doing it, all right? High visits, surprisingly, makes me sweat. I don't know why. Can anyone un explain that? <laughs> because I don't have a bloody clue why. Anyway, um, so I just want to go through the f basic fundamentals of a taco. Um, 
So, for anyone who doesn't understand, like, at the end of the day, no one's gonna understand this fully just from watching this video, if, if, if you know what I mean. You've gotta have experience and do it for a little while before it really sort of starts sinking in, and that's what happened with me. Like, I didn't really understand it fully, fully, and like for like the first year or two of driving, like it really didn't sink in. Plus, I am a slow thinker anyway. So uh, to put it into basic terms, you need a break within six hours of working time or four and a half hours driving time. So you can split your break into two, which will be a 15 minute and a 30 minute, but you need a combined uh, break time basically of 45 minutes within four and a half hours driving. So for example, I'll give you an example. I start at seven o'clock. I always split my breaks. It just makes it easier for me, okay? You don't have to split your breaks. You can just have a 45 minute break, but I'll give you an example for both. I start at seven o'clock, which means I need a minimum of a 15 minute break by one o'clock, which would mean I had been working for six hours. So if I'm doing local work and I'm not gonna hit my four and a half hours driving, like if, if, if I'm not gonna hit that four and a half hours driving, then I'll focus on the working time. So I'll have a 15 minute break by one o'clock, okay? You can have your, you can you can put it on break at 12.58 or 12.59, as long as you put that on a break before one o'clock. So I, I would usually have like a 15 minute break probably around the 10.11 mark. And then that extends my working time directive for another three hours. So I have to have a 45 minute break in total, which means I'd have a 15 minute break before one o'clock and then I wouldn't have to worry about my half an hour break until 4 p.m. Or you can just have your 45 minute break before one o'clock if you start at seven and then you just would have to have another break within the next six hours of working. Now. Regardless as to, uh, uh, talking about driving time now, regardless as to, as to whether you have a 15 minute break, as to whether you split your brakes or, or not, you have to have a full combined time of 45 minutes on break before four and a half hours driving. If you stop for your break at four hours and 29 minutes driving, then that is fine. If it hits four and a half hours driving, so for example, if you're pulling into a lay-by, you know, just driving along, then, and it hits that four and a half hours driving before you put it on brake, you've exceeded that four and a half hours driving because it'll be like four and a half hours and 10 seconds or something, you know? So you have to have it on brake before four and a half hours driving. So we're gonna just get a crack on, get a move on, get out onto the motorway. Uh, me, Zach, and Benjamin are convoying up the motorway today and I'm very very excited for anyone who watches my channel you know I love a convoy <laughs> thank you mum that is genuinely depressing <laughs> right right we put the postcode in for the next delivery which is about 20 minutes away but it's nine o'clock it's quarter past nine now so we're gonna pull out of here, probably gonna have our 15 minute break because there's a stopping point just out of here, basically. So there's a car park there for some reason. Why is that car park there? Because I want to stop here for my break. No one in the car, so I can't stop there. I can't stop there for a break because no one would be able to get past me now. So yeah, as you can see, I've got nowhere to stop. So we are literally coming up to the turning for our delivery. So what I think we're gonna do is do this delivery and then have our break. Because it's a farm, I can stop in the farm and have a break after I've done my delivery. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that. So according to the paperwork, we've got to take that off, that off and that off. And just like that, one lift, two lifts, jobs are good. That delivery is done. My hands are cold. 
It is so cold today. My lord. So yeah, what we're gonna do is because this is a farm, it's nice and quiet. I haven't even seen a farmer come in or out yet. There's tractors over there. There's bloody tractors everywhere. Now, I know it's probably not the most ideal place for somewhere to stop because of the whole smell of farms, general smell, but we're gonna stop here because it just saves us pulling into a lay-by, but we've done our delivery and we're gonna put it on break. So how long have we been here? To find that out, you just press down. We've been here for 35 minutes, so lovely jubbly. We've been driving for an hour and 21 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press number one once and then the little cross hammer sign changes to a bed and then it will basically say how long we've been on break currently on this bottom one here and then when we've registered the break the registered break will go in that top right hand corner for a bit i'm just gonna well for a bit for a minute i'm just gonna chill out and go on tiktok or something so on our dash our break has just ticked over to 16 minutes so you can also check by pressing down and then oh it's just gone over to 17. so yeah double click that and it's back on over work now the reason why i'll let it tick out now some people are going to agree some people will disagree the reason why i let it tick over for 16 minutes is just to make sure it's registered the 15 minutes because they're at when i first started driving there was a couple of occasions where i only let it tick over to 15 and it, it didn't register so i had then had to have another break or i then had to have like a 45 minute break instead of a half an hour break later on Right, we're skipping forwards a little while because I've just stopped in this lovely lay-by nice view of some whatever they're called <laughs> keep forgetting what they're called wind turbines that's the one all right let's get that up let's turn the old engine off wrong way right so yeah just stopped in this lovely lay-by on the a361 which is the North Devon link road and we are gonna put it on brake for half an hour I have got some sausage, sausage, what am I on about? Meatball pasta for lunch, I'm very excited to eat it. This is leftover dinner from last night, but yes, I'm, I'm very, very excited to tuck in. In terms of the break, so we're having our half an hour break now. We are on two and a half hours of drive time. It's only 11.45. I got really hungry. I would have liked to carry on driving for a bit longer, but I thought, do you know what? I'm hungry. I'm just going to stop. So I'm going to let this break basically tick over for, uh, tick over to 31 minutes just to make sure I'm clear in the half an hour. And what I do is when you turn off your ignition, and you turn it back on after a while, it takes a little while for the taco to load up. So what I do is I'm gonna do this. Set a half an hour timer. 30 minutes, counting down. So I'm gonna do that, turn off the ignition. So obviously, you know, my battery doesn't die, even though it wouldn't, but. And then I'm just gonna sit here for half an hour, chill out, scroll through TikTok, YouTube or whatever, call the missus and uh, enjoy my, my meatball pasta. And then when my alarm goes off, I'm gonna turn on the ignition, let it load up, and it normally takes about a minute. So once it loads up, it should be on 31 minutes past, or 32, somewhere around that. Oh, right, I've just been chilling out. My alarm has just gone off on my watch. So this is what I meant was, I've just turned the ignition off and everything has got to load up. There we go. So yeah, it says I've been on break for 34 minutes. That's because, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so we're gonna turn this off break. So we're gonna make our way back to the yard. And then when I get back to the yard, I'll probably be on somewhere an hour, between an hour and hour and 20 minutes driving. Um, and then I don't know what we've got for the rest of the day. We could have another drop or we could literally be in the yard for the rest of the day. Uh, I'm, I'm aiming to get around back around quarter to two. I'll see you when we're back at the yard. 
So it is now quarter past two. We are half an hour late because we went to the garage just to have a new side marker light popped on because mine was out. It was kapush. It was dead. It was dead in the water. So um, yeah, just went and had one of those put on. Lovely jubbly. So gonna park up in the yard, load up for tomorrow, take the truck down the yard, and then we'll be taking the tachograph out. But currently, as we speak, I'm on an hour and seven minutes driving. And um, whilst I fuel up, I'm gonna give me truck a bit of a spruce up as it is Friday and it's only half past three. Hi Ed. Love you too. Now obviously, whilst I'm doing all this, my car's still on other work. I haven't taken it out. Get the air so it's got blow any air that's sat on top of it off. So I use disinfectant spray and then I use a dresser that goes on top. Give it all a good spray. And this way, the cab smells very, very clean. Right, we are parked up, ready. <laughs> Hi Ben. Mum says it's my go on the Xbox. <laughs> right, so it's the end of the day technically. It's four, uh, 1601. We're gonna we're gonna be here for another hour, hour and a half anyway, but we are done driving the truck, so we are gonna take out the tachograph. So this is the eject button. You wanna press that and then it will start ejecting the owed card. End country of the day, yes, I'm still in the UK. 24 hour day, third, no, so I'm not finishing yet. And out comes the taco card. So I've taken my taco card out and then tomorrow I'll do a manual entry like I did at the start of this video. Tomorrow, I meant, I meant Monday. So, like I said, that's me parked up for the evening. I'm gonna go and do some just the little ghibli bits and bobs. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I tried to make this kind of funnish, in a sense, not just literally taco, but I hope you enjoyed anyway. So, if you guys did learn something, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know how you think I did. But like I said, not trying to be big headed or anything. I've been stopped by the DVSA twice. I've had my taco checked twice and they they always seem happy with it so i'm obviously doing something right if you know what i mean so that is it for me guys thank you ever so much for watching if you want to see what i'm doing on a daily-ish basis i upload on instagram so please feel free to go and check that out that is me out hope everyone everyone has an amazing weekend and an amazing week whenever you're watching this video i hope you did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one ciao ciao for now bye bye